Hey everybody, welcome back to the Attic Room YouTube channel. I've got another scratch and dent sword box from True Swords. Now I have opened the box, but I've not looked at anything in it yet. Now how these work is, it's 40 bucks. They're pretty hard to get, but it's 40 bucks. You get at least four items. Uh, they're scratch and dent. They may have a little bit of cosmetic damage, but they're supposed to be perfectly functional otherwise. So, without further ado, let's get started on it. And actually, looking in the box, uh, it looks like I've got more than four items. Starting out with, let's just start at the basics. I've got a Blue Guardian Fantasy Sword with Sheath. There it is right there. Uh, I've had one of these before. They're all right. It's a cheap stainless steel sword. Uh, nothing spectacular. Old fantasy sword. Get her out of the box here. So there's our Blue Guardian. It's a nylon sheath. It's riveted on the edges. Uh, it's got a Velcro uh, strap. Uh, it is set for a, a belt loop. It, it does have a belt loop. Uh, it's a blue stainless steel blade. A, uh, I don't remember what they call the, the coloring they put on stainless steel. It's similar to anodizing on aluminum, but there we have it. Uh, sorry, didn't finish unwrapping it. It's a simulated leather wrapping with a simulated under wrap uh, or simulated leather I'm sorry under wrap it looks almost like uh, well to tell you the truth it looks almost like electrical tape but there we have our first item in the scratch and dent sword mystery box that is a blue guardian fantasy sword with sheath uh, after the video, I will have a uh, slideshow with better pictures of the items and when I can find them, the prices. So, next we have a box. There we go, a box. Open her up and see what's in this. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh, Damn, it's a spiked club. I don't know what you would ex exactly call this, but uh, it's made in China. I have no idea what that cap is for, but uh, yeah, it's a freaking spiked club. Uh, fantasy club, basically, but these are hard, sharp steel points. So it's not that much of a fantasy or cosplay piece, but man, that's freaking evil. And it's got some heft to it, some heavy steel or iron banding on it, spike at the top. That would uh, really, really mess up somebody's day. That's all I can say about that. Uh, there is no manufacturer. The, the box is marked Bucks, or Buck Knives, I'm sorry. Well, the box is inside, but... There's no identifying markings on the package itself, other than the scratch and dent item identification. So, yeah, that's hardwood, iron bands, iron or steel spikes. That's definitely an argument ender right there. So, let's see what's next. Next up, we have. Very rough box. Looks like a set of display, yeah, a display set of Japanese swords. Uh, I want to move this box off screen. And I'll just dig into it. These are cheap sets. They're usually 30, 40, 50 bucks. Uh, they're nothing spectacular, but they do look kind of nice sitting on the shelf. Uh, it's got a 
Painted Dragon looks like it's an applique. Uh, these are not full tang. They're not sharp and they don't even have a false edge to them. So these, yeah, these are definitely made just for for display. They're not usable, battle, battle ready. We've got a fake Hamon. Uh, they're stainless steel, at best stainless steel. Cheap furniture. Yeah, they're just, like I said, they're just cheap shelf sitters. Tana from the set. Oh man, that thing is in there tight. But there we have it. Again, like I said, you know they're they're not quality weapons. They're not actual weapons. These are what are called a sword-like object. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to do a video on swords and sword-like objects, and these are definitely sword-like objects. Uh, not not at all angry about what I've gotten so far. Uh, it's been inexpensive stuff, but you know, I only paid 40 bucks for the whole thing. There's the stand for it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it together right now and get on to bigger and better things. So, those are display so display Japanese swords. Uh, next box we have, excuse me if I seem a little rushed, if you've been watching my videos you know that I have some serious camera issues, my camera sometimes doesn't last more than 10 minutes, and so I try to do these videos fairly quickly. Uh, I just posted a video, a scratch and dent uh, box video, a couple of days ago. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. I got between $350 and $450 worth of items for $40. I'd say I did really, really well. This one is not not so much. And we got a katana. Pretty blingy katana at that. I assume this is going to be more of a display type sword too, but we'll find out. It's got, uh, oh, false gold plated uh, furniture on it. It's pretty light. Uh, rhinestone inlay on the dragon. Let's see. Yeah. Just another cheap display sword. Actually, this looks like it's almost part of that set. Or very, well, no, it's not part of that set, but it's very close to the same kind of design. Again, cheap stainless steel display sword. Again, I'm not mad at it. That's probably another $30 or $40 piece. Next we got I can tell you this right now it will not be a display piece. Pretty sure it's probably a chinois. It's much nicer. This is more of a ninja style katana. It is a chinois. Black Damascus with red. These chinois blades are actually pretty good. They are handmade. Uh, it is true to a real Damascus steel and not just some fake. Sorry, I wanted to wipe the blade off. It is sharp. It is straight. It is solid, like all the Shenmaws I've gotten. They're not $5,000 swords. They're $100 and up. They're all right. I've got no complaints about them. This right here, well, this right here paid for the, the package. Uh, but this, you know, this more than paid for it. Uh, it's probably a a hundred dollar sword so I've got no complaints about it it is not bad 
uh, Shenhua, like I said, Damascus. Uh, yeah, they're pretty decent swords. This is, uh, I think, the fourth one I've gotten in the past uh, few months, and yeah, I'm very happy with them. Uh, I will say that, off the subject, sort of, well, no, it's not really off the subject. YouTube has changed their partner program requirements. Creators like me, small creators, uh, you have to have a minimum of a thousand subscribers, four thousand hours of view time in a year to become part of their partner program. Otherwise, you get no monetization. You don't get anything for these videos. Uh, all of this stuff I pay for out of my own pocket. Uh, I almost never sell, well, I don't sell anything. I give some of it away to friends or family if they want it. Uh, but for the most part, it just gets added to my collection. Now, this gets expensive after a while. Uh, these are 40 bucks a piece plus shipping, uh, you know, five, ten, fifteen dollars shipping. Uh, the only way that I can get my money back or earn money to make these videos is if I get help through our viewers uh, on Patreon, patreon.com. Uh, if you've never heard of it, you can pledge a buck, two bucks, a hundred bucks a month or per video, however you want to do it. Uh, or I think you can even do it one time. But if if you want to help me out with it, throw me a few bucks, it would be greatly appreciated because I'm not making anything and I'm not out to make a fortune. I do these videos for fun. Uh, it, it's kind of fun to open up a box that you've ordered and you don't know what's in there and you don't know what you're going to get. Sometimes you get good items, sometimes you get junk, but it's still fun. My, my income is limited, so i got to keep it cheap, but... If you as a viewer or subscriber, and I really need subscribers, but you as a viewer or subscriber would like to see me unbox something, put it down in the comments, make a suggestion, and I will do what I can to make that happen. I can't do expensive stuff, but you know, if it's a hundred bucks or less or around a hundred bucks, and you want to see me unbox it and see what's in the box, Put it in the comments. I'll try and make it happen. So, there you have it. Uh, let me go back through here and lay everything out. Got a Shenhua Damascus sword. I've got a chi, some cheap no name display swords. Please excuse my big fat head if it's stuck in the picture. Got this skull buster. Spiked, spiked, spiked thumper. Uh, I, don't, I really don't know what it's called. And a blue guardian fantasy sword with sheath. So that's what we have this time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please click the like. Helps me to know if people are enjoying my videos or not. Comment again. It lets me know whether you like my videos, what you'd like to see, what you'd like to see me do different other than my rambling. Uh, subscribe. Please, please subscribe. Uh, all of us YouTube creators, especially the small guys like me, really need the subscribers. It really helps. Gives us a better idea of what's going on. Anyway, so there you have it. 50 bucks. I didn't get hurt. I'm not mad at it. I'm not as overjoyed as I am with the last one, the big score I got last week. But, yeah, I'm happy with this. So, Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. And please stay tuned for the slideshow.